The History of Durmstrang Institute Durmstrang Institute is one of the three largest wizarding schools in Europe, the other two being Hogwarts and Bobaton. Located in the far north of the continent, the school is willing to accept international students from as far afield as Bulgaria. Having existed since at least 1294, Durmstrang was one of the three schools that competed in the Triwizard Tournament and was notorious for prominently featuring the dark arts in its curriculum. Durmstrang did not admit Muggleborns, but certain students might not necessarily have shared this prejudice. In 1994, Victor Crumb attended the Yule Ball with Hermione Granger, who was Muggleborn and would not have been admitted to Durmstrang. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over the history of the Durmstrang Institute. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Durmstrang was founded during the Middle Ages by the great Bulgarian witch Narita Volkanova, who served as the first head of the school. She was succeeded after her mysterious death by Professor Harfang Munter, who established Durmstrang's reputation for emphasizing martial magic as an impressive part of its curriculum. Around 1294, the Triwizard Tournament was established as a friendly competition between Durmstrang Institute, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and Bobaton's Academy of Magic. But in 1792, a cockatrice went on a rampage and injured the heads of all the schools. The Triwizard Tournament was then suspended indefinitely, only restarting in 1994. In the 1880s or 1890s, Gellert Grindelwald was accepted into Durmstrang Institute. Although the school was oriented towards the dark arts, Grindelwald's experiments in dark magic were considered too dangerous for the students. After a certain amount of time, Durmstrang could no longer ignore Grindelwald's dangerous studies and expelled him. Before he was expelled, he carved the calling card of his obsession, the Mark of the Deathly Hallows, on a wall of the school. This mark stayed there long after his defeat, so considering the opposition to Grindelwald in the school, it can be assumed he magically imbued the mark so that it could not be removed. Grindelwald was marked as the best student in the school's history. At some point after 1981, Igor Karkarov, after being acquitted as a Death Eater by betraying information to the British Ministry of Magic, rose to the position of Headmaster of Durmstrang, and became immensely unpopular in this position, and several students were removed from the school by their parents for his ruthlessness. He insisted on an environment ruled by fear and intimidation from his students, leading many to view him as egotistical and unprincipled. During his time as the school administrator, some students copied Grindelwald's symbol onto their books and bags to impress others, but were taught a lesson, presumably in the form of retribution, by those who lost family members to the Dark Wizard. The 1994-1995 Triwizard Tournament The Durmstrang delegation arrived at Hogwarts for the Triwizard Tournament by ship, an enormous vessel in which they slept during their stay in Scotland. The Durmstrang students sat at the Slytherin table during their meals in the Great Hall. Bulgarian Quidditch seeker Victor Crumb attended Durmstrang and was still in school during the 1994 Quidditch World Cup. That same year, the school participated in the recommenced Triwizard Tournament. Karkarov brought 12 students with him to Hogwarts to put their name into the Goblet of Fire. However, it was Crumb who was chosen as the Durmstrang representative. Karkarov full-heartedly supported Crumb with tremendous amounts of bias, both as a judge towards the champions and as headmaster to the students. As Crumb was a celebrity, he was often followed by Draco Malfoy and other students who wanted autographs and the prestige of being close with him. Crumb mostly ignored these advances, but formed a close friendship with Hermione Granger, who was a Gryffindor student. They continued communication after the tournament through letters. Karkarov fled after Lord Voldemort rose again. It is not known who took over or whether the school's reputation improved or worsened due to this. However, none of the students appeared to be too concerned by this, as Karkarov was unpopular among the school, especially when he had his students row the ship while he rested in the cabin during their arrival. Location Durmstrang, like Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, was a castle though their castle was not quite as big as the Hogwarts castle. 
The castle was four stories tall, and fires were only lit for magical purposes. It had very extensive grounds and was surrounded by lakes and mountains. In addition, the school was unplottable. Durmstrang concealed its whereabouts from plain sight. The institute was said to be in the far north of Europe. Reputation Durmstrang was notorious for its acceptance of the dark arts and was known to have educated and later expelled Gellert Grindelwald before his ascension as one of history's most dangerous dark wizards. Professor Igor Karkarov, a former headmaster, was in the service of Lord Voldemort as a Death Eater, but managed to escape punishment in Azkaban by providing the Ministry of Magic with the names of his co-conspirators. Lucius Malfoy, another Death Eater, considered sending his son Draco to Durmstrang, likely because its prejudiced attitude towards Muggleborns, coupled with its sympathetic attitude towards the Dark Arts, appealed to the Death Eater. However, his mother did not like the idea of him going to school so far away. It was during Karkarov's reign as headmaster that the school's reputation worsened, and his insistence of letting an atmosphere of fear and intimidation rule over the school led even more parents to withdraw their children from the institute. Did you enjoy the video? Be sure to tell us in the comments. And make sure to subscribe. And check out these other great videos from the Amagi. If you'd like to support me, you can also subscribe to my personal channel. See you guys tomorrow!